or a way for you to get on the ledge, that's where it's like, you know, more tough. But that's something he has to know already. All right, um, so yeah. Coach Aldo in the building. <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> he, his services are free for now. Uh, so the only got price <laughs> you have to pay is uh, your soul. <laughs> Convert to the dark side. Now, anyway, here we go. We have cookies. Uh, K9S Kong. Yeah. Is he really going all D today? No, no. I, I, I told him that at the very beginning when I first saw him, and he started laughing, cracking up. Of course not. Like, of course not. Like, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but some. But, but he's he, going Diddy versus Bam's uh, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. I wonder. Maybe he's not comfortable with the matchup. Maybe he's just trying to download some data. No, I definitely seen him play Bam with his Sheik in like two OM like double two stocks. So. so maybe he's trying to have fun because he has fun with his character. Either that or he just wants to get more experience with his Diddy. Yeah. Because he loves something, playing Diddy. Yeah, something I've even heard about this matchup is that it's actually very hard for Bayonetta for reasons I'm not sure of. But it's oh, looking yeah. like a pretty rough already. Like, Bam isn't able to get any uh, kill or combo setups. Yeah, I think I've heard Zan say it's, 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 uh, it's the same thing you said about Diddy Bayonetta. But I also, uh, I heard, I, I don't know where I saw this, but some, someone witch time and uh, they monkey flip with the attack. And he wasn't able to get a punish off because the, you know. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he clanks, right, with the, the hitbox. Yeah, whatever, yeah, because it's still out. That was a good stock for uh, K9. He only has 32% on it, though. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you, like, only take 32% from a bandetta, that's how you know you're in control. <laughs> yeah, like, if, if you're, like, above 60, it's like they can just get a witch time and get you. Yeah. That was go. nice, dude. Jab one. Yep. Got him. Damn, dude. Got the combos on deck, though. We don't drop those anymore. I'm not sure if he DI'd it correctly, K9. But, um, uh, I guess you DI away and down, but it's really not a way to... Six, gets like, every single time out yeah, of it. You, yeah, you can't DI out of it every single time. Yep. Like, but oh well. A lot of people like to say that, oh, just DI out of her combos, but yeah, the I, thing is, I just she has setups for every kind of DI that she will do. <laughs> yeah. So it's all about just literally just following the DI at that point. Anyway, K9 forward airing him across the stage, thinking that he's still playing Sheik. I mean, oh. He can do it. Oh, man, he got that read. Or he reacted and then he just didn't space it right, I guess. Oh, uh, that was not what he meant to I do. think uh, if you leave the banana on the ground, it, it stops her in up. place yeah. when she does with the side B. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. tripped off of it. I think he might have hit her with the extended her mark, so I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll see eventually. All right. Uh, something that Bam has though is Dave's recovery is pretty much free to edge drive with Bayonetta. Yeah. Especially if he recovers low. This is looking really bad for K9 because uh, he has higher percent. Had he kept his low percent. <laughs> yeah. See, Bam does not care to throw off the neutral air off stage because he knows if uh, it connects, Dave's pretty much gonna die. GG. See, look at that. It's so easy to get wow, just free damage by just pull hopping nearing. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you get, he gets like the residual damage from the bullets, even if he doesn't connect. Cannon has not gotten a grab in the past Edgeguard potential minute. Dare is really safe, nice. but he, ooh. Oh, he ooh. got he got ooh. the read, but ooh. he got the read, but it didn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't uh, work. That side B, the the aerial dive kick, it loses a certain moves before it, the hitbox even comes out sometimes, or just trades and. Like, that looked like the up smash would have traded, but he just didn't time it correctly. That was it. If Hilarious was a little, like, a little, little pixel later, he would have traded and uh, Bam would have died. But uh, good stuff from Bam actually converting successfully off the dive kick, because that dive is a kill. Confirmed. Yeah. It was really smart. All right. Game two, k like, all right, no more games. I need to, I'm not trying to go and lose this bracket this early. Dude, look at that. Pulling out the Sheik. <laughs> Alright, so he got the, the couple strings at the beginning to get the lead in the match. But uh, yeah. anything can happen in this matchup later on. But of course, Sheik. Yeah, has if uh, Sheik ever yeah. overcommits versus Bayonetta just a little bit, that's a uh, witch time. Though, funny thing enough, Bam rarely ever loses witch time. Ever. Which is, I don't know. It, sometimes it helps. Maybe it's, him. maybe it's good or bad. Sometimes it hurts him a lot. But. If he throws it out even once, it'll apply the pressure of, hey, I could witch hunt you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That might be, really be his uh, mentality behind it. Yeah. Never really know. But, you know, apparently the first two are, you know, the best witch times after, you know, 
have Pop held the longest, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe he's trying to save it for a read, but, you know, applying the pressure with Witch Time is still very good and important. And I've only seen him get the bats with them like two times this set. All right, great neutral air. Oh, he threw it out right there. Yeah. Which is interesting because oh, more like K9 didn't option. really do any aggressive option. Oh, oh, there it is. Never mind. Oh, oh he oh. jumped right back into it. I, I he assume all he, he had to do. Jump up air. He, oh man, uh, he that was the, rough. He did the worst hitbox to punish right there, and that was his, um. That was only his second witch time, so he still had a lot of uh, time to be yeah. frozen. He could have just waited to go down stage and either waited for it to completely end or just go for it immediately, just full hopping up yeah. there. I think but what he, he went was for thinking, it too fast. Yeah, I think what he was thinking there is since Kanon was still at low percent, he couldn't charge a smash that would kill, so he wanted to get like a, a high damage combo. He was too he was too up in the air anyway. Yeah. And he was still rising because the witch time had initially happened. He might have been able to just up B. I'm not sure. But Kanon doing a good edge guard right here. Okay, great back air from uh, Bam. As long as Bayonetta keeps yeah, yeah. underneath. Jesus. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Something, no, no, something that Bayonetta can do that not a lot of characters can do is that she actually can edge guard Sheik. Like, she can't really banish for free against Bayonetta because of that, um, that super long hitbox with her Nair and up there. You'll catch the, the first. The first, uh, with the 12 to 16 frames is one of those two. Uh, at the beginning of Sheik's up B where she's vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. It's very easy for uh, Bayonetta to catch that. And uh, Bam's someone who um, really tries his best to catch that as uh, consistently as possible. But right now, Ken is looking like he's going to wrap this up. Really, really big percent lead right here. And uh, he's not really letting Bam get any uh, any of his openers. Oh, no. Ooh. See, that was the time to wish term, not air dodge. Okay. Um... Yeah, right there. I think I think Bam needs to really mix up when he does air dodge and when he does witch time. Just, just so not necessarily to like get a kill or just sometimes just so you can stay alive. Cause and also to put sure. in put in like the the thought of like I'm gonna either air dodge, I can wait and then jump to read your jump air or jump air dodge read, or I can throw out witch time, which will which will catch one of the things. Yeah. Um, It'll apply another pressure to the 50-50, but... Yeah. Get, get this pizza before it's gone. Oh, I'm so mad. Wait, oh. Is there pizza? Yeah, there's pizza, but... All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching the stream. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, of course not. I hate you so such much, Jamie. <laughs> All right, game three. Oh we got, God. got uh, right. Diddy counterpick, or the Diddy counterpick. The, the, the Sean S. Bruce counterpick, the Omega Pokemon. A lot of people in SoCal love this stage as well as, um, what is it, the other yeah. one that's popular? Omega time, Smashville, which is It's actually my first time seeing someone take K9 here. Normally K9 is the person yeah. that takes it. Yeah, so that's why I thought it was this one, but I, clearly since uh, Bam just lost, he picked yeah, it. Yeah, it's Bam's card pick. Yeah. Great back here. This, this is a great stage, dude. I love it. Wait a minute. So Bam went with Sheik, but switched back to Diddy. Maybe he heard FD. I don't know, dude. I have no idea. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Oh no, I, I guess game one wasn't a complete blowout, so he maybe thinks he's just clutch it out this time. Want to try again? But if he loses this, let me see your two GG K9 or two GG Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we get like two GG K9 versus two GG Bam? Like the like two in emotes? chat? Yeah, in chat. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want to see. That. All right, all right, all right, all right. If you're a sub, either pick one or the other, and let's see how many. You know, we'll, we'll see at the end. We'll count. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Bam going really deep. But to be honest, he actually really doesn't have a huge risk of going deep versus Diddy Kong. Look at how uh, K9 is controlling the stage with just rolling and applying the aerials. Yeah. Like, all Bam is doing is uh, throwing out the side views and waiting and doing something. But oh, oh. at the time being, he had, like, a lot of stage control. Oh man, that neutral air lingering just a little bit caught, uh, caught Kanan off guard. Bam's playing really well right now. Luckily for K9, his frame dipped into the stage when he did that forward air, avoiding the backer to the face. That would have been horrible. Bam's playing really patient. Oh, uh, not gonna kill though. K9 spaced it correctly and uh, knew that he could punish before the second hit came out. It was a, it was a good attempt. Ooh. Oh, copy up smash. 
Yeah, that was a good attempt from Bamo holding the banana and then kind of like uh, mixing up his approach, but did not space it that well. And now Kano trying to get some uh, easy damage right here. Did you see that? He tried to witch time at the very end before the second uh, back air. I wonder if there's a window where witch time actually isn't active. And you can kind of like hit them before. Well, that time he just. Yeah, he just waited for the yeah. cooldown. So that was crazy. That was a cooldown punish. Yeah, that was a good punish, dude. Hard to get that. Alright, well, can I just. Backing up all his damage. He's got another timing, but. Nah. That was not going to kill there. Ooh. The wicked weaves coming through. Yeah, big weave for K9. He's playing very patiently, not really uh, oh. over committing and forcing them to approach. Dude, that can smell the pizza from here. <laughs> I can smell the pizza that I'm not gonna be able to eat because it's already gone. <laughs> Thank you so much, JMX. Oh man. Anyway. Oh, that was not good for K. Big lead. Not reacting time. Oh. Uh. If he gets a throw on the edge, he could apply a good pressure. Yeah, four throw at the edge might kill actually. But yeah. Nice. That Kano's playing so patient. Oh, yeah, he has to against Bayonetta. There. Oh, oh no. Wow. Good as the eyes. Hit. Miss? Okay. I think he has the eye up and to the left. And then he just got out of it. That was crazy. I'm not sure. Look at that movement, bro. Uh, he tried. He still shot him, though. He didn't go for the fourth throw because <gasps> I think. I, I think, think he that thought was he input. Wow. He tried to down tilt the Bar Bear. Yeah, yeah, I saw that from K9, but. Um, I don't know. Bam could have done that uh, that fourth throw like two uh, times earlier, but he just went for an up throw. I don't know why. I mean, these are two. Uh, of the I guess he's banking on hitting up. Oh, oh that, that happens dude. sometimes. Yeah. He's banking on getting like a high damage combo, just kind of like converting it into a kill. Bana always can oh. do that, but. Kano's doing a good job of shielding these afterburners on the ground, not really letting them get a free uh, opener. You see that? After uh, after he, after he, Kano noticed that wow, when he side beat, not wow. After he noticed that the side beat like, hit the <laughs> banana and slipped, um, yeah, yeah. he just started positioning them there. Yeah. All right. Well. So I guess that's why uh match was pretty bad for Bayonetta. Well, uh, we're, we're going to we're gonna take a quick commercial we're gonna break. We're going to go we'll commercial right break, back. and hopefully the piece is still there. Because <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to be very pissed off. Thank